Good afternoon, good morning. This is Mark Johnson from Loyalty 360. Welcome everyone back to our Leaders in Customer Loyalty series. In this series, we talk to leading consumer brands about what they are seeing and hearing on the front lines of customer, channel, and brand loyalty. Today, we have the pleasure of speaking with Crystal Zell. Crystal is the Vice President of Customer Marketing and Operations at Home Depot. How are you, Crystal? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing well, thank you. I was just commenting on your artwork. Uh, very nice, I like that. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, what is your role at the Home Depot and kind of your background? You're great to know a little bit more about you personally. Sure. So um, I'm the Vice President of Customer Marketing Operations, as you said, at Home Depot, which really means that I sit um, in our online and marketing organization, which are combined organizations at Home Depot. Um, and I oversee a lot of things related to our customer, everything from understanding our customer better, customer intelligence, data and analytics around our customer, um, support for our marketing function, uh, as well as what we're here to talk about today, which is customer loyalty at Home Depot. Great. Uh, customer loyalty obviously very important to, to us, to you, to everyone. Uh, one of the things we love to do is get an understanding of how you define customer loyalty. So can you define customer loyalty uh, for us, what it means to you to Home Depot, and also would love to know what it means to kind of your, your uh, pro extra uh, customer as well, who the loyalty program is targeted to and for. Sure. So let, let, let me tell you a little bit about our customers at Home Depot. So um, I'm sure many of you are know Home Depot, have been in Home Depot, and we really have two different types of customers, very distinct types of customers. We have our who we call our DIY customers, your do-it-yourselfers, and many of you out there may even fall into that category, which is, you know, you're doing projects in your home to make your home more comfortable or to add more value to your home. Um, and those customers are obviously super important to us. We also have a different customer segment, which is our pro customer. And our pro customer is somewhere between 40 and 45% of our revenue, but actually only about 5% of our customers. And that customer is all about doing projects to help their customers, whether it's to feel more comfortable in their homes or to add value. And so this pro customer has always been really, really important to the Home Depot. Um, and has, you know, just mattered to us pretty significantly in terms of our overall business. So, um, and, and they always have been. And so, you know, over the past several years, we've taken more efforts to really get to know our pros better. So loyalty for us is really all about, we want that pro customer to choose all of the materials that they need for a given project that they can source from us, for them to source them from us without even thinking about it, right? Without even doing the comparison. So we are all about capturing that full project and that full capability um, for our customer. And the other thing I would say is, we are really, really passionate about making our pro customers successful, you know, helping them meet the needs of their customers, making them the hero to their customers. Um, and so loyalty for us is not just about capturing that full project, but it's really about making our pros successful. They're business people, they're running businesses, and we are all about making them successful. That's awesome. You talked a little bit about the, the, the uh, Pro Extra Loyalty Program. Can you tell us a little bit more about the program, how it works, uh, how long you've had it? I know you made some pretty significant updates to it. Uh, and obviously, a little, you mentioned who can kind of participate, but we'd love to know a little bit more about the program for sure. Sure. So, you know, recognizing how important our pro customer is to us at Home Depot, years ago, we created a program. And the program's intent was to really start to build a relationship with our pros. So if you think about a store environment, a lot of times, you know, you're transacting either with cash or credit card. And traditionally, you know, we don't necessarily know you, know who you are. And so the beginning of Pro Extra was all about, you know, let's bring some value to our customers so we can get to, get to know them, build relationships with them. And we started with what are the things that, these, that we know that these customers really need? And I'll give you some examples of the benefits of the current program that we have today. So we have um, a benefit called volume pricing. If you're a pro and you're doing a large project and you're spending more than $1,500 on that project, you can go to our pro desk and you can qualify for discounts. So we can give you discounts on your goods that you're buying for that project. So that's a benefit of Pro Extra. We also learned that one of the things our members really need to be able to do is to be able to assign transactions and purchases to a job. So you could be showing up today and you could be buying for five different jobs. You need things for five different jobs. Well, what we enable you to do is to go into the history, assign different purchases to different jobs, 
so that you can really keep track of a given job and, and accurately charge your customer, the pros customer for that job. So purchase tracking has always been really important to our customers. We also have a paint program and our paint rewards program allows members to save up to 20% on paint stains and primers in store and online. And we also enable members to take advantage of free direct to job paint delivery. Um, and your past orders can be stored and categorized. So for example, if somebody painted your office a couple years ago and you need some touch up paint, the pro can make sure that that exact paint is stored and can go find that paint so that you can get exactly the touch of paint that you need for your office. So, you know, really focusing on, on making paint benefits um, work for the customer. And then lastly, we have something called text to confirm. And that's really all about um, a lot of times you've got pros at a job site and they need something for the job site, but they can't get there. So they're sending somebody on their behalf and they're authorizing them to pay. Um, and so we'd have this authorization process that's really simple and easy for our customers to send what we call runners to the store to be able to pick up product. So, so we started with, you can notice in there, benefits for the customer that are really unique and specific to what pros need to really try to make their lives as business people easier. Um, and now we are very much leaning into making the program even more rewarding for the customer. So our goal is still to get to know our customer, to build relationships with them, but it's also to reward them and to recognize them for their business. We have pros that spend significant sums of money in our stores, are in our stores every single week, buying product for their jobs. And so we want to recognize them and we want to reward them for their purchases. So that led us to develop a new set of benefits for our pro customer. Okay, that's great. And, and you mentioned a little bit about the, the, the pro uh, customer itself. So basically, it's anyone who doing this for a living. If someone like myself had a, a rental property or two they wanted to redo and they knew that they're going to spend a lot of money, could I qualify as well? Or? Absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, we are targeting our pro customer. And, and, and as you'll see, the benefits are really designed for a, a pro, but, but a small pro to a large pro. Okay. And somebody like you with multiple rental properties, you're behaving like a pro. So you're absolutely welcome to sign up. Um, and partake in the program. Okay, great. Um, so you talked a little about the change to the program. You know, one of the things that uh, I, I would think that you've done a lot of is listening to and understanding your customers, right? It's during COVID been a big challenge, but to enhance this program, to make it more rewarding, to get into that more direct dialogue with the customer, I think that's something you guys focused a good deal on. Can, can you talk a little bit about how, how you went about that process? Sure. Well, let me tell you first about what we added to the program because I okay. talked about the historical benefits of the program, but let me tell you a little bit about what we've added that we're really excited about um, that is launching on October 1st. So we added uh, something called Perks, Pro Extra Perks to the program. And the Perks really is all about rewarding our customers for shopping. So Perks get unlocked at different spend thresholds. So you know, as you spend more, you get a perk and it gets unlocked. And the really exciting thing about the way we've put this together, which, I, which actually gets at our research, is, you know, that we recognize that all, not all pros want and need the same things. And so from a loyalty program perspective, we wanted to build different rewards that would meet them where they are and give them the things that they would like. So um, to, to get the whole program started, there's two options as you unlock perks. One is for tool rental perks, which are really credits for our tool rental centers. You know, one of the things that we learned from our customers is they, they do a lot of different jobs. A lot of them are doing different jobs and they don't always have the, the equipment that they need for every job, but they don't want to always buy the equipment that they need for every job. So a tool rental perk allows you to rent the tool. We have um, tool rental in so many of our stores, lots of capabilities around tool rental. So we can, we can meet that pro's need. We also have another option of a benefit, which are pro extra dollars. And these are simply reward dollars that can be used in our store or online at Home Depot. They go directly into your mobile wallet um, capability that we have, and they're super easy to use. And so it enables the pro to either use the dollars for their business. So they could buy a tool that they've been wanting to buy for a while to support their business, or they can even use them for themselves if they'd like, if they're working on a project or want a new grill or something like that. Okay, great. Yeah, and then I'll tell you a little bit about some of the other things that we've added to the program as well. 
So we added something called bonus perks. And bonus perks, um, so there's earned perks and then there's bonus perks. So bonus perks are really the small ways that we can thank our customers for being loyal to the Home Depot. So if you think about a pro who's in our store 60 times a year, and there are lots of those pros, um, a bonus perk is something really simple, like a free drink or free snack that really makes that trip more fun and more worthwhile. So you can grab a free Coke on your way out the door. It's something small, but it's something really to recognize that pro um, and thank them for being a loyal customer. And then the last part of what we've put together is really um, a, a great experience digitally for our pros. So we, you know, we truly believe that our pros are on their mobile devices, just like everybody else is today. And they, we want to give them a simple, easy to use experience. And so all of their account information, all of these perks, everything is captured and enabled in um, a super user-friendly app experience that we, that we have built for that pro. That's awesome. And, and did, did you build that internally or did you work with outside partners or kind of combination of both? Yeah, we do, we do all, we, we we, are a, we do a lot internally, but we also leverage lots of third parties to help us, certainly. That's awesome. And so you talked about uh, kind of the adaptations you made to the program, the, the very unique enhancements based on uh, kind of a, appealing to both uh, short-term and long-term needs and really driving behavior. You know, how did you approach listening to and adapting the, the program uh, for your pro customers? Yeah, it's a great question. We were super thoughtful about really understanding our pros. I mean, it, it all goes back to... Our mission at Home Depot is to really help our pros and make them successful. Um, and, and so we started with really trying to understand how, what are their needs and what are the types of things that can make them successful. And, you know, one of the things you heard me talk about was they, they have different needs. And so, you know, we created a structure that enables choice for the pros so that we can give them different options. Um, we also know they're on the go. And, they're, and, and, and convenience is really important to them. So we built the whole experience with that in mind to be able to enable convenience. Like another example is we have what is in our app experience a virtual ID so that the customer can super easily self-identify um, and then get access to all their benefits um, from that simple, easy barcode self-identification. So we really focused on listening to our pros, trying to understand what it is that they need to help them do a better job delivering for their customers. We did, I mean, on a practical level, Lots of research, of course, ethnographic research, um, focus group research, quantitative research, um, talking to our pros. And then we talk to the field. I think when you have a stores organization, your field and your associates are full of information about what your customer wants and needs. And so we spend a lot of time making sure we do a lot of listening about our customer. Okay, great. And what are your goals for the, the Pro Extra program going forward? Uh, is customer loyalty going to have a bigger impact in some of the things you guys do from a data, from an engagement and customer experience perspective? Sure. I, you know, I would say um, the loyalty program is really kind of, it, it's a part of this bigger strategy, which is all about knowing our Pro, understanding them, engaging them digitally, making sure we provide them the tools and capabilities that they need to bring the best of Home Depot to them. So, you know, we've had for a really long time this interconnected strategy, which is really connecting our dot-com capabilities and our stores capabilities. And uh, so the, the program itself is really all about this opportunity to connect directly with the pro, um, get to know them, recognize them, and then bring the best of Home Depot to them. So our goals for the program, you know, on a practical level is to make sure all of our pros get involved in the program and to make sure that they identify whenever they're making purchases from us so we can give them all the best benefits that we can. Um, and that we just really grow that level of engagement with our members. Okay, great. Um, when you look at uh, some of the challenges you face, what was the biggest challenge you face as a you know, senior level marketer? And maybe how do you see that changing going forward? You know, I think, um, especially in the time that we're in as a senior level marketer, I think it's, it, it's, it probably has always been, but really continues to be understanding your customer, understanding how uh, their needs are changing, understanding what really matters to them. Um, it, you know, and I think you have to do a lot of different things in order to get at that. Quantitative surveys alone aren't going to tell you the answer. Talking to your customers alone aren't going to tell you the answer. So I think, you know, the, 
best marketers really understand their customers' needs and how they make decisions. And so um, for us, we are pretty, you know, relentlessly focused on really understanding our customers. And I, and I would also say part of it, again, is this relentless focus on your customer being successful. Um, and I do have a history. I used to work um, at Starwood Hotels. Starwood Cook for Guests was the program I, I was a huge part of for a very long time. And we had a similar perspective there, which is we were all about kind of making our members the hero. And so I think the, the challenge you have as a marketer is to understand, you know, what, what your customer needs and wants from you and how you make them, whether it's successful or feel good, et cetera, so that, that you can make good decisions and spend your resources wisely. That's awesome. Now, when you look at personalization, obviously understanding your customers, you, you mentioned that a couple of times, understanding them their unique needs and wants and some of the rewards, even small something as, 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 a, as a candy bar can be very uh, you know, emotionally engaging and, and kind of have a high uh, return based on the kind of the perceived value being so high. You know, personalization, what does personalization mean to you, to Home Depot, to your yeah. product? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, so for us, per, if, if, you know, we're actually a, a huge retailer, right? And so even within our pro base, um, I've been talking about, you know, we have the two customer segments, a DIY segment and a pro segment. But within the pro segment, you have significant differences in customers. So you, you've got very large customers who maybe do lots of projects, have multiple crews. You've got painters, you've got electricians, you've got roofers, you've got handymen, um, you know. So, so we have just this great variety um, of customers. So, so, and we also sell quite a lot of SKUs, um, right? Because we're a very large retailer. And so for us, personalization is really about, um, I would say, you know, a couple things. As it relates to loyalty, it's about kind of understanding, getting to know that customer and what I've talked about in terms of meeting them and their needs and where they're at. But then on a day-to-day -day basis, it's about understanding the moment that the customer's in. What types of projects are they working on? Um, what are they focused on today? And you know, how are you making sure that you're relevant and bringing the relevant, the most relevant information to that customer on a given day? Um, and so, you know, it's about understanding everything that you have and all the information that you have available about that customer to make sure that your communications with them, your interactions with them um, are really hitting uh, the needle in terms of what their, their needs are. Absolutely. Um, data, analytics, creating actual insight, more data. You mentioned a ton of SKUs that you have. Uh, obviously, a large footprint. Transactions are going up uh, at Home Depot. I've, I've read and I, I, I know I've shopped a ton more uh, there. How, how do you create actionability? How do you create some simplicity and even you know access to data? Uh, is the data you know, problem becomes more and more complex? Yeah, so I, I think there's a couple of principles you know, for marketers to think about with data. Um, you know, Obviously, one principle is to be data driven. So to, to certainly use data to, to guide you, to help you answer your questions. Another principle is still to be hypothesis driven, because I think you can get lost in data. So you, you still need to be very hypothesis driven, meaning that, you know, you start with something you're trying to prove or disprove as you're looking at at your data. Um, certainly, I would say another insight today that's really important um, is to leverage modern capabilities with data. So, so we certainly have, without getting into you know, too much detail, very much modernized all of our data architecture infrastructure in terms of um, you know, how we operate. And that means that you have democratic access to data. You have access to data in a very quick and organized fashion. And so that, in that sense, you can leverage data to make decisions in a much quicker time frame. Okay. So I think, you know, modernizing data, democratizing data, but also being still hypothesis driven, because if you're not hypothesis driven, you can just waste a lot of time. I like that. That's a great, great approach for sure. Cause always being more open versus going in with kind of a, kind of a predetermined uh, or kind of a, a, you know, an idea you having that open to having a hypothesis. I think it's a great way to do that. Mm -hmm. um, you, one of the things we like to ask is called our CMO challenge question. It's, uh, you know, if you could ask a customer any question. Uh, um, so, uh, you know, and what, if you could ask your pro customers uh, one question pertaining to customer loyalty, what would that question be? So, you know, I, again, I think it goes back to that 
us making them successful. So, and I do this a lot. So um, obviously in stores less than in the past because of the time that we're in, but um, you know, it's, I always like to ask them, what's the hardest part of their job? What's the, the thing that, that is frustrating that they're dealing with? What are, you know, and we call those pain points, right? Historically in marketing, but what are the things that are just really hard? And is there any way that Home Depot can help them solve it? And, and they may not know right away how Home Depot can help them solve it, but the more we understand the things that make the job challenging, their work challenging, the experience challenging, the more value we can create for them by hammering away at those problems. Um, yeah, that's all right. yeah. So, and you know, for us, we we're very much rooted in our values at Home Depot and with within who we are for the customer, which is we are all about convenience and value. And so, for us, it's about understanding the pros problem and making sure that we drive an experience that delivers convenience for them and creates great value for them. Okay, great. And the last question I have uh, is, you know, Local 360 is a trade association for an industry, you know, members, brand, supplier. We're always looking to kind of elevate what we're doing. Um, you know, we have member only meetings. We're doing a lot of research. We, you know, we love to kind of elevate what we're doing. So what can we do as a trade association for the industry, help you with your customer loyalty program, your process, your journey? Yeah, I think it's, it's, bringing data and insights to bear. Um, again, back to being very data-driven about what's happening with the customer, what's happening with the consumer right now, right? And, and, and we've never had such a period of dramatic change in consumer behavior, quite frankly, in the last six months than we've ever had, um, you know, at least in my lifetime as a marketer. So it's that what are, what's happening out there, what's the data, what's the insights? Um, you know, and I, I think in particular, those insights around behavior and how people are making decisions. So that, you know, that understanding of, of decisioning logic and is so critical as a marketer. How do people really make decisions? You know, how do they really value trade-offs um, is so, so, so critical. And because that's what, honestly, good loyalty marketers at the end of the day, they're really good at understanding how people make decisions so that they can influence the decision that the customer is making. So... Um, you know, I think that that's, that would be helpful. Okay, great. Yeah, we definitely, uh, we're, we're trying to do more and more of that. We have a great community and I think there's more sharing now. I think brands are open to kind of discussing what's working for them and, and, and obviously hearing great uh, insight from what you're doing and even others. That's really our goal. So thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today. It was uh, very uh, insightful. I uh, love learning more. Even that I can qualify. I think that was good. Uh, <laughs> I have a property needs a lot of work. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time, Mark. Absolutely.